Pretty, huh? Pretty brownies. Hey everybody, thanks for joining White Dog Outdoors. I'm getting out for some urine nymphing finally. My brother and I tried to get out a couple of weeks ago and the water was just so high. We're doing a lot of filming for our urine nymphing basics for beginners video that's going to be coming soon. But uh, you know, the water conditions just weren't great a couple of weeks ago. Everything was so high. The water's come down. It's still raining like every day almost. Um, today is finally a beautiful day. The water is not too, too high. We're going to cover a lot of water today. We're going to be doing some urine nymphing. We're going to be doing some filming. So uh, anyway, thanks for joining us. Let's have a good adventure. Okay, so we're just getting started here, but uh, this water is slightly off color. It's a little bit of a stain to it. So I'm going to go with a slightly, it's a little bit high too. I'm going to go with um, a fly that's a little bit heavier. My point fly is going to be my sexy stone and kind of the uh, brown and black. And uh, there's some pretty good weight in this fly. And then my dropper, a little ways up, which I just hooked into my hand, is going to go with a little prince nymph here. So uh, we're going to give this a shot to start. And uh, hopefully we can find some fish here. This just doesn't feel heavy. Why doesn't it feel heavy? It's not heavy at all. Should be feeling that more than I do. Need some weight. Don't give me no little flies. We need some heavy flies. There we go, that's a heavy fly. Oh, saw that fish. That was a fish. There we go. Finally. I think this is just a small brownie. I think it's just a small brownie. Maybe a bow. Took the upper fly. No, it's a brownie. Got your typical Euronymph hookup right there. Right in the snoot. Pretty little brownie. So it took the upper fly. Uh, okay, that's good to know. So what have I got on there? He's a pheasant tail with a... Pheasant, oh, that's a magnet. Pheasant tail with a tungsten rainbow. Let's see if we can hit bottom with this guy. I don't know if it's going to be heavy enough to get down there or not. Instead of the sexy stone fly, we're going to try a Frenchie. And this is what the other one took. This one took like a... It's got a rainbow head, but it's basically a pheasant tail I tie with a... Uh, without. It's not actually a pheasant tail. It's a, a dubbing with a little sparkle in it that looks like pheasant tail. So if they're taking little stuff, let's try little stuff. As long as I can get those nymphs down, that's the key. If I can't get those nymphs down and feel the bottom, then it's not working. Oh, that's actually pretty heavy. Oh, these are getting down better. I just hung up. I got a straighter line with these than I did with the other one. Oh, man. Now I'm going to get hung up more, but at least I can feel the bottom more. Oh, good one. That's a better fish. Slightly, anyway. Maybe. Maybe not. And that one looks like it took the Frenchie. They are some nice chunky fish. Do I have a hook in you anymore or did it come out? It came out. Would have liked to have known which nymph you took. Thought it was the bottom one. Pretty brownies. 
Pretty chunky wild brownies. Look at those bellies. Beautiful. Hey everybody, just a quick update. So we caught a couple of fish downstream, a couple of browns. Um, you know, not, not real big, but uh, we're moving upstream. My, my goal today is to cover a decent amount of water and just kind of explore and find fish. It is still a little bit high. This is one of my favorite spots and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get down to the fish if they're here. But uh, anyway, we're going to keep exploring. I ended up changing up to um, some smaller nymphs, really. I basically have a, a pheasant tail with... Um, I have a pheasant tail with a rainbow bead and then my point fly. Instead of using a sexy stone fly, I'm going with uh, just a little hairs here with a tungsten bead. So I got two tungsten beads, smaller profiles, um, pretty decent weight, hopefully getting them down, you know, where they need to be um, to get to those fish. So well, anyway, we're going to go fish. Let's go see what we can do. So that water was way too fast. I couldn't slow those nymphs down much except in the in the eddy that was just on the other side of it and didn't get anything in there. So it's gotta find better spots for Euro. The first spot I was in was perfect. This spot is a little fast. I'm gonna try downstream a little bit. It's a little more widespread, it's not as targeted, but um, it does appear to be a little bit slower. So we're gonna give that a whirl. So we got our third fish for the day. This one took the uh, the pheasant tail with the with the rainbow bead on it. Not a bad little brownie. Pretty, huh? Pretty brownies. All right, we're gonna let her go. At least we're catching fish today. <laughs> I'm not exactly finding the size of the fish that I was looking for, but uh, I'm happy to connect with fish. Taking a bit of a break. Covered a bunch of water. Not really liking what I'm seeing. This spot looks good again, but uh, really turbulent water, really just really deep plunging stuff. Not really the best for urinimphing. You know, if anything, throw a streamer or something through those areas and see if you can get a big boy moving out of there, but not equipped for that. So I'm just trying to find more riffles and stuff, but it's getting to be mid afternoon now and I'm hungry, so I'm trying to refuel and try to figure out if I want to stick with this stretch of river or if I want to uh, head back to the car and try another stretch of river before I run out of time. So uh, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna refuel, sit here and rest for a little bit. We'll get back to fishing soon. This is a good-looking spot here. Pretty sure I had a hit there that I missed. I felt a bump. Oh, baby. I did not feel him. Oh, I did not feel him. This is exactly where I thought it would be. In fact, I wonder if he's the one that hit before. Yowza. Well, that'll be our best fish of the day so far, I think. Not that he's great, but he's decent. Sweet! Back into some fish. Mm. The key with these barbless hooks is to keep the steady pressure. Ooh. Dig, dig, dig. Pretty fish, though. Oh, man. You can see some colors on this guy. 
I think he got the top nymph again. As I see the other one. Wow, good fight, buddy. Let's surf it. Yeah, that'll be our better fish of the day, I think. Good take. I felt that one pretty good. Again, I didn't see that. I felt it the whole way. <clears throat> How's that, baby? Beautiful little guy. Pick the warrior. Ah, oh, I just hooked another one. And that one had a great little jump that I just missed on camera. Curious as to what he talks. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, come on, buddy. You're nothing special here, but you're pulling awfully hard. Another brownie. Oh, they took the warrior again. I'm liking that. Oh, and it's out. Love gotta love the barbless hooks. That's what she took. That is brownie number seven on the day. Adios. Catching my share of brownies. I mean, when these fish are biting, there is no mistake in it. They are crushing. First fish rising I've seen. And I got him. <laughs> I got the sucker. Took the upper fly. Oh, you little stinker. Come on. Get in there. Well, I saw a little guy rising. I think it was you. Because as soon as, as soon as I let my fly through there, right where you were rising, I got a hit. Go back to your, uh, go back to your pretty little spot, buddy. Are you kidding me? I didn't feel you again. And the flies are out. See all of these barbless, man. They don't get stuck on anything. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful guys. See ya. Ah. Uh, I've really lost count now. I think that might have been eight. Ooh, wow! Dang, he hit that. Holy cow. Did you see that? Holy crap. What the heck? What the heck? Well, you got some salad with it. Wow, you are something else, buddy. Bloop. Oh. These have got to be stockies, huh? They don't look like stockies, though. Good God. I got some activity now, baby. Good gracious. That thing nailed it. I mean, nailed it. I'm toast, man. I'm done. Let's get home. You caught your share of fish today. All right, well, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, I am toasted. I've covered a lot of water going upstream today, so 
Uh, I could lay down and go to sleep right now, but I got a bit of a trek back to my car. So uh, anyway, the first adventure out doing real euronymphing for the year was awesome. Uh, I think I ended up with nine brown trout. Ended up hitting a little hot spot just upstream here and uh, had lots of fish. I lost a couple toward the end as well, so definitely tangled with a good number of fish today. So definitely happy and uh, I'm going home tired and hungry. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the adventure. If you like what we're doing, definitely subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys for the next adventure.